We need to focus now on stopping this war. So Arab leaders publicly pressed U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Saturday to secure an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. But in a rare open display of disagreement, the top U.S. diplomat pushed back. It's our view that uh, a ceasefire now would simply leave Hamas in place, able to regroup and repeat what it did on October 7th. Blinken met the Saudi, Qatari, Emirati, Egyptian and Jordanian foreign ministers in Amman. He said all were agreed on the need for peace and that the current status quo in Gaza could not hold. Blinken, who met with Israeli President Benjamin Netanyahu a day earlier, said Israel, quote, must take every possible measure to prevent civilian casualties. Protecting civilians will help prevent Hamas from further exploiting the situation. But most important, it's simply the right and moral thing to do. Earlier on Saturday, Palestinian witnesses said Israel hit a UN-run school in Jabalia, Gaza, which was serving as a shelter. The Israeli military said that according to a preliminary inquiry, it had not targeted the location, but that the strike may have been the result of fire aimed at another target. Reuters footage of the aftermath showed broken furniture, patches of blood on the ground, and people crying. One Gazan boy said he had carried dead bodies. I carried a body and another decapitated body with my own hands. Israel's defense minister said its forces had destroyed communication hubs, bunkers and tunnel networks over the past two days and that 12 Hamas commanders had been killed since the start of the war. World and regional powers have failed to reach any consensus on how to deal with the escalating conflict in the four weeks since fighters from Hamas, which runs the Gaza Strip, burst over the border, killing 1,400 people and taking more than 240 others hostage. Israel has since struck Gaza from the air, imposed a siege, and launched a ground assault, stirring global alarm at humanitarian conditions in the enclave, Gaza health officials said on Saturday, killing more than 9,488 Palestinians.